Hey everybody, welcome back. I got a clone for you today, a dupe of a relatively popular, I mean not overly popular, but relatively popular scent. Uh, it's my preferred. It's called Hombre, 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 whatever you want to say. Uh, it's their impression of Salvador Ferrer Gabarro Mamamo <laughs> Umo. <laughs> uh, I don't have Umo anymore. I did. I had a little, uh, little uh, decant of it. I bought for like 10 bucks. Geez, almost two years ago now. Uh, I just ran out about four months ago, so it's still relatively fresh in my mind. Uh, I did like it. Uh, it. It was a nice scent. Uh, very gourmand. Coffee, cake, chocolate type scent. Uh, with some spices. Um, and it's a horrible name though. Preferred hombre. <laughs> and they get a little write up on it too. Ombre is crafted for the man who balances impeccable style with rough masculinity. Black pepper and cardamom collide with sweet coffee and tonka beans in this unique, timeless fragrance. <clears throat> coffee. I get more coffee from the authentic then I do this, and I get more sweet from this than I do the authentic. Not that they're pretty close, don't get me wrong, but anyway. <clears throat> Umo, the authentic, released 2016. It's classified as a fresh gourmand. Uh, accords are sweet, aromatic, warm spice, balsamic, and amber. Top notes, black pepper. Cardamom, bergamot, mid notes, tiramisu, orange blossom, ambroxan. Uh, base notes, cashmere wood, sandalwood, and tonka. <laughs> tiramisu is a, it's a note, but it's it's kind of a combination of notes, if you know what I mean. It will almost be more of an accord. Uh, it's, it's coffee and white cake and chocolate cocoa and sugar and cream it's a very creamy sweet dessert and it's a very creamy sweet smell uh, and that's where the coffee and the sweetness comes from is the tiramisu uh, and the uh, ambroxan gives it the sweetness and not that ambroxan is overly sweet but it does have a sweetness uh, I had the dry down here. Definitely get coffee. Um, you definitely get some coffee, some chocolate, cake. Um, like I said, the authentic's a little more refined than this one. Um, uh, this one's not bad, especially for a cheap dupe. This is, uh, falls in the same line as, uh, the Polo Red dupes and, uh, that Aqua de Geo dupe I preferred. You know, ones that are really good, really good dupes. Uh, this falls in that, probably being the top five dupes. I'll have to do a top five preferred dupes again, because I got so many more. I know I probably already did one, but... I've gotten twice as much since then, so, but uh, this is definitely very, uh, very good performing dupe, <clears throat> not as good as the Authentic, the Authentic, fuck, was a, a 10 hour plus scent on me, I put it on in the morning, like I said, I put them on about an hour before I go to work, I go to work for 9 hours, or go to work for 8 hours, <clears throat> and then come home, 
and you're going on 10 hours and it's still on you. Uh, and the Authentic projected for a good solid three, three and a half hours and projected pretty good. Again, not beast mode, but fucking close. Uh, this, <clears throat> surprisingly, because we all know preferred longevity isn't their strong suit. You know, for $5 dupes or less, yes, they're pretty good, but geez, three, four hours is your typical preferred longevity and projections typically about an hour. This one I got about six hours of and projected for almost two and projected for a good solid hour, pretty far out there. Uh, and this one wasn't even $5. I got this one, like I said the other day, the, the, the local cheapy store, dollar-like store, is starting to carry them. I got it for three fifty. Very close to the authentic, ninety percent close to the authentic. Same notes, just kind of a different. You know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, the dry down is very. It's uh. Very coffee like. You can smell a tiramisu through the whole life of the fragrance from the very first blast to the end. It, you can smell that tiramisu. Uh, so the whole fragrance is, is, is sweet coffee. Uh, dessert like, well, gourmand, right? Dessert like almost. Uh, but the... the the cashmere wood and the sandalwood come in at the base and give it a soft, musky, smooth type uh, vibe to it. The whole cologne has a smooth vibe to it. It's not harsh at all. It's very, the authentic or this one is very nice, very nice. Um, and then the tonka comes in at the base and continues that sweetness, just enhances that tiramisu coffee chocolate cake type fucking sweetness uh what do you get off the top though well like i said you get the tiramisu there's no doubt in that check the spray out pretty good spray off the top that tiramisu is there but it's it's over overpowered by the uh black pepper and, and bergamot don't get a lot of cardamom but I didn't from the authentic either but it's, it's probably there I get from the top the black pepper and bergamot and tiramisu and then about a half hour later 40 minutes later the tiramisu just comes out really strong and the ambrox and, and, and then it you know and then it kind of couple hours into it dies down a bit and it becomes the, the, the cashmere wood and the sandal wood come into play and make it really smooth and creamy and, and, and musky not musk but like a white musk think sweet musk it's really nice guys I wouldn't lie to you really nice uh for 350 holy fuck can't be beat this doesn't smell like a fucking cheap dupe or a fucking 350 cologne Smells like it could be a, you know, a designer. Well, what they're doing is designer cologne, normally preferred. As much as I like them, like I said, there are, they're dupes. You can tell they're dupes if you know what you're doing. Uh, they're not bad dupes, but they don't have the same quality for the most part. But there are a few, like I said, the Aqua de Geo, the Perfumo, the, the Polo Red, Polo Red Extreme. Uh, polo black, double black, uh, and this one are ones that come to mind when I think of these are fucking really good. Oh, that's the bottle too, guys. Sorry, I didn't show you the bottle. Showed you the box. It's a typical box, preferred. That's the bottle. I don't like the name, but the bottle's all right. A cheap cap, even for preferred, is a cheap little cap. I would have done something, but hey, it's all about the juice and the juice and the shit. Excellent, excellent juice. <clears throat> I paid three fifty. Holy fuck! 
I can't believe that. You know, and this is... If you like gourmands and you either can't get the, the fucking Salvador Ferranga Mongo Umo. I can't pronounce that fucker's name. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but you, you got a place that sells preferred. Either you can't get it or you can't afford it or you don't want to afford it. Fuck, get this shit here, man. 90, 95% easy, easy match. Uh, and performance is not bad for a cheap dupe. Like I said, five and a half, six hours. Projects for a couple hours. Projects really good for about an hour. Like way out there. Like upper mid designer out there. You know what I mean? Like fucking. Yeah. Surprisingly surprising. Nice color juice too, that amber. Uh yeah, that's it, guys. Nothing nothing fancy. I, I got no story about it, you know, or anything. Just that I wore it today and uh, no compliments or anything. Uh, but I did I did see a few people going as I walked by. So, half a compliment. <laughs> I got three half a compliments, you know. So that's like 1.5 compliments. <laughs> yeah, but I know it smells good. It really does. Uh just be careful on the trigger, because even this dupe is powerful, man. Very powerful. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, obviously, try it, buy it, or avoid it, buy it. Just buy it. Even if you have the authentic, buy it. For $3.50, $4, $5, whatever, buy it. It's well worth it. Uh, as a dupe, it's getting a 4.5 out of 5 for me. It's that fucking close, that good, as a, as a cheap little dupe. It's great. I fucking love it. And with the cold weather, too, it's going to be perfect. Perfect. I'll probably wear the fuck. I'm going to go get another bottle of it. Three fifty. Hey, guys. Peace. Love. Be good to each other.